Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? I'm sorry I'm late. I could not figure out how to sign in to this live stream. So I will be painting my toes tonight and just talking about random th things. If this is not your type of deal, you might want to like click off now. So let's get this set up and wait for a couple more people if anyone joins. I know I'm a small timer YouTuber, but YouTube has given me the opportunity to do live streams with you guys. So here we go. And how in the world? Like this. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to figure out how to set this up. It's like my third live stream. Well, that backfired. <laughs> Short little cord to it. All right, can you guys? Let's see. No one's here. So I'll paint my toesies alone. And then you guys can just watch after. There we go. Queen. I'll take this off. Oh, yes. And we have light. Yes. Okay, cool. Light, camera, action. While I'm setting up, I'm just waiting for other people to join the stream. It was a little late, sorry. Okay. So today I am painting my toes. This color, it doesn't have a color name. But it's by Beauty Concepts. I'm shaking, so uh, yeah, you can't see that. Anyway, all right. So I'm gonna paint these toesies. Mm. 
haven't clipped them because they don't need any clipping. <laughs> I've already done that. Okay, so while I'm doing this, we're going to talk about a couple things that has been on my mind. Um, first, I just want to talk about me for a second. But, and by the way, my hair is in a braid. Otherwise, it would be everywhere like a curtain. I'm just thinking about putting it in a ponytail. But anyways... If you guys have any suggestions on videos or anything like that, make sure to email me. Not my PayPal email, but my uh, business email underneath my YouTube. I'm actually looking for a manager slash moderator for my channel. And of course, no one works for free. So I will pay you. But anyway, I need some professionals up in here. I don't know how to trim a video and that's kind of pathetic. I watched plenty of videos on how to do it and I just don't get it. I don't get it. I've tried multiple applications and everything like other editing styles. <sighs> yeah. Whenever I trim a video, I, I, the only thing that plays is the part that I trimmed, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Anyway, also, I really want to talk about the Petito case, but I'm going to talk about it very lightly in respects to the family. Um... So this is that story that has gone viral with the couple that decided to live the van life and the girl decided to start a vlog and her boyfriend was totally unsupportive, red flag, telling her that it wouldn't be successful. At least that's what she told the police and their body cam. Footage. You can find that online. And that's really sad, you know, to like hear that she honestly thought like I just like am not good enough to make it. It's so sad, you know. I think I'm going to move you guys over here because it's a better um I guess you could say like a better, is it better? <laughs> like a better scenery. There we go. No, this way was better, way better lighting. <laughs> Sorry, this video will not be edited because I don't edit my live streams. I want you guys to just see how I am live. The real me. Back to the Petito case. My prayers are with her family and her friends. Nobody should ever be hurt because they have a crappy boyfriend that's abusive and clearly didn't support anything. And I love the way he turned the story around on her with the cops. And I don't know why the cops didn't see that he was abusive. He was very, very charismatic, which most psychopaths are. I did all this research on psychopaths last night. And they blend into crowds easily. They are very, you know, charismatic. They can fool people so easily because of that. And it's just really sad. And I feel like with the police, they made her sleep in the van and got him a hotel. 
I don't care who is in the wrong. She's a female. You're going to leave her alone. I mean, it is her van, but you're going to leave her alone in the van just because you think he is, you know, the victim. Like, she's no more safe in the van alone than she was with him, you know, with a stranger, like, possibly breaking in and attacking her. That's the one thing I didn't understand. Like when I saw the body cam footage, you can actually view the whole thing on YouTube, the whole body cam footage. Also, let's talk about a different topic. Britney Spears. Stuck in this conservatorship for over 13 years has been lied to and treated basically like a child. Like she's so childlike because that's what happens when you're abused, you know, and then you make irrational decisions because when you're abused and held under control like that, people notice that and then they want, you know, like abusers and controllers and they're like, oh, your dad controlled you like the guy that just got engaged to her. We are keeping a close eye out on him because we can't trust anybody around Britney Spears right now. Everybody is a money grab right now. And I want to know how did her estate literally go from Six hundred million dollars to only sixty million. Six hundred fifty million to sixty million. Where is the six hundred million dollars? I know it went to lawyers and blah, blah, blah for the conservatorship, but not 600 million damn dollars. Goodness. I don't care how long she's been in the conservatorship. And it's just really sad, you know? And it kind of makes me scared to be famous on YouTube these days, or anywhere for that matter. Because um, the same thing could happen to me. Same thing could happen to you that happened to Britney Spears, you know, put in a conservatorship. But what happened and what went down is when Kevin Federline came to pick up Britney Spears' kids, her secretary, which actually was her stalker, um, was like, oh, the cops are going away. You don't have to hand over the kids. Don't, don't worry about it. Well, the cops didn't go away. And that's when she was put into the back of the ambulance and brought to a mental hospital. She was lied to. So she was put in there under false pretenses to begin with. Then they said that a doctor had evaluated her and the doctor actually never saw her because she was released before a doctor could even evaluate her. So the conservatorship hired, or so once she got out, the conservatorship was already done. They claim that she has dementia. Now, I used to be a cheerleader. And, like, to understand choreographic moves and stuff, like, you guys that are on TikTok dancing, you know how hard that is? Do you know how hard it is to perform multiple songs with multiple dancers? And she's teaching her dancers all these choreographic moves. Like, just imagine, you know, that's a lot of stuff to remember. So, if she has dementia, it's obviously not that bad. <laughs> and that's not dementia. So, I mean, it's, it's really a shame. 
The same thing happened to my grandmother that just recently passed away. And, you know, she was a millionaire. And she developed Alzheimer's. So my aunt decided to be power of attorney over their health and their finances. And what ended up happening was she was like buying them a $60,000 car when they can't drive. And my grandfather is blind from diabetes. Plus they're in their 80s or she was. I'm sorry. I still talk about her like she's still here because I wish she was. And I haven't like accepted that she's gone and I kind of don't want to. Although she's in a better place. But anyway, the same thing happened to her. You know, that's why I'm like scared to be rich and famous. You know, I used to be a dancer on Bourbon Street in New Orleans, and I made well over a hundred grand a year. I had four cars, you know, a town home with Berber carpet, ceramic tile floor, granite countertop, and keep in mind, this was like... 10 years ago, so that's when, like, all that stuff was so expensive. Now they have, like, better stuff, more modern. But back then, man, that was, like, Berber carpet, ceramic tile floor. Yes, that was, like, bougie back then. So, that could have happened to me. Someone could have, you know. So, anyway, when she got out, a doctor was supposed to give her, like, a real evaluation which never ended up happening so oh no it did happen a doctor did see her and evaluated her and realized i don't even know what what we don't know what the report says because he mysteriously passed away before we could find out but tell me how someone gets stuck in a conservatorship before they get a doctor's evaluation to say, yes, this person cannot make their own decisions, cannot whatever. Also, Britney Spears did not have a cell phone. Tell me why. Why didn't she have a cell phone? I remember the day when she got an iPad, which was not too long ago. Britney motherfucking Spears posted, I got an iPad. What? <laughs> like I've said in my previous videos, my son has had iPads since he was like four years old. Like I said, it was leapfrog iPads so he can learn and stuff. But still, like, are you kidding me? The queen of pop did not have an iPad. It's crazy. She doesn't have a phone in the conservatorship. She can't choose the color of her own cabinets. She can't choose what she wants to wear. She can't even choose to have a cup of coffee. That is sad. So... You know, just wanted to talk about those things and how unfortunate it is for Miss Petito and what happened to her. And I just want to say this, if any of you young women are going through something and, you know, like a domestic violence situation and you feel like everything's your fault, what they do is they blame you to make you feel so bad and all this stuff and really in reality they are the insecure ones oh they look so pretty I'll give a final reveal when I'm done but anyway 
So what happened to Miss Petito could have happened to me. What happened to Britney Spears could have happened to me or anybody for that matter. And it's just really scary, like the world that we live in these days. I remember when I was younger and we wouldn't leave our doors unlocked, but like we left our car, car doors unlocked and like, hi cuddles and things like that. I knew she was gonna, fo gonna photo bomb this video, but that's okay. That is okay. In other news, what else should we talk about? In my life and my grief and my, you know, struggles with my grief, I have been struggling just period, like with everything. I fell into a deep depression and almost didn't care about like taking care of cuddles. She wasn't like on a proper diet and things like that. But I had a talk with my psychiatrist and I feel a lot better. And, you know, he just explained to me that everybody, everybody goes through things in life. Sometimes multiple tragedies in one day. And, you know, there's a lot to be grateful for, actually. A lot. It could be so much worse. And isn't that the truth? It could be so much worse. And it's not. So there's no reason to be depressed, angry, or sad. Well, sad, yeah, because I'm grieving. Not, no. No. You know better. She's. Sorry, she's in heat. I read that cats will go, because it seems like she's always in heat. So I read that, like, they go in the heat, like, three weeks out of a, a, the month? Or what I looked up was definitely wrong. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Like, how long do they stay in heat? Because, look, when you Google something... Watch The Social Dilemma on Netflix, and a lot of things will make sense. So what I might research is different than what you might research because of the algorithms and what it sends out whenever you do research something. It will send out algorithms like, okay, this person likes this, this, and this. So let's set up this video, this AdSense, this, 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 this AdSense, this ad, da, 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 so on and so forth. So, also, I can't wait to get monetized by YouTube because I absolutely love sharing with you guys. I don't have friends or family. I know I talked about my family, but I had to cut them off because of what they did to my grandmother. And, you know, they locked her up in a nursing home and let her rot and die and while stealing all of her money. She was a millionaire. And I just feel like that's so wrong, you know. Alzheimer's is kind of like dementia where you can't really remember things or people very well like I remember I was talking to my grandmother a few years ago actually and for 20 minutes and I was like and she's like my husband bought me a car and I was like I know I love my grandfather and she's like really who's your grandfather 
I'm like, Mimi, it's Cassandra. Cassandra, it's me. And she's, oh, my angel. I'm so sorry. I need to go. Because I believe she felt ashamed that she couldn't remember her own granddaughter, you know. But like I shared with you guys the other day, I was having a bad day just a few days ago. And I sat down on my train seat in my seat. Well, I was going to sit down. And right before I sat down, I found like a drink hole, like, you know, like a thermos full of roses on the outside. And her name was Rosa. Her name was Rosa. I have her tattooed right here. I don't want to get any community strikes. I would say demonetized, but I'm not even monetized. So I can't get demonetized if I'm not monetized yet. Oh, in other news, <laughs> you guys will think this is funny. Or some of you guys might take it as offense. <laughs> if you're like this, please don't be like this. But anyway, this person emailed me. This guy emailed me. And it started off with, I forget what. But eventually, he started sending me emails like, where are you from? And like, how old are you? And like, things like that. And I was like, dude, do you have a video idea or something? thing like is there a reason why like you're asking me all these questions like this uh, I told him like this is not a dating app this is my email for business purposes only so that you can email me like business inquiry inquiries you know what I'm saying but no <laughs> he got so so upset spaghetti that he tried to comment on my YouTube, but my all my comments are held for review for a reason, and this is why. Because this guy commented like something mean, and then when he realized like my comments aren't going through, he commented, I'm reporting you. Okay, go ahead. What are you reporting? I'm not even monetized by YouTube. And what are you going to report? A girl, her scooter, and her cat? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, my channel really hasn't been branded yet on anything. Like, I'm not a drama channel. I'm not this, that, or the other yet. I'm just, like, you know, vlogging about my life and, like, trying to connect with people because I have no friends. So, like, I was like, go ahead. Actually, I didn't return his email because you can't play into negativity. It's contagious. Negativity is contagious. I promise you. So, here we go. Here's the reveal. Ooh, they're so pretty. Oh, my toes are like this. Because if not, this will rub against my toe and fuck it up. So, there they are. We are finally finished. So beautiful. I love it. I love them. And I, I didn't make much of a mess. Yay. I always paint my own nails. I used to get my nails done. See? Look. <laughs> Ooh, now I got polish. 
I knew it was gonna happen. I just didn't know when. So let's fix you, Pinky. Real quick before we close out this video. Also, I'm trying to learn like what I want my intro and outro to be. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. There we go. Pinky fixed. But it has to stay like that. Oh, oh, that one almost got messed up. Beautiful. Yay. Hmm, 10 out of 10? I think so. Uh, well, I really, oh, I almost crossed my legs like that and fucked up all my all my toes. Like I have to stay still for like a very long time for them to dry or I will mess them up. And when you keep repainting over them, the paint gets thicker and thicker and so it peels off once it gets too too thick. They're so pretty. So I'm literally going to sit here and um, not edit this video. Like I said, this is live. So what you see is what you get in this video, baby. But them toes are phenomenal. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. YouTubers that are monetized, they make money off of the thumbs up and the comments and ads. But since I'm not monetized, I don't make any money off of any of that stuff. So I feel weird saying like, give it a thumbs up and all that because it doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean. I'm like to you too. I'm just being real with you guys. So you guys understand, you know, like what's going on. But anyway, so <laughs> leave a comment below if you like this color. And if you're a girl, comment below or a boy that likes to paint your nails, comment below. What is your favorite color to paint your nails? What is it? I want to know because I've been wearing this color for about a year now. <laughs> And I need some advice on some changes in my life. Also, if you're going through anything, like just anything hard, just know you're not the only one. Reach out for help on Facebook. There's communities online that you can talk to. There are people that are going through the same thing you're going through. Like we're all going through the same things doesn't matter if you're a doctor, a YouTuber, or a TikTok, or whatever, the president. We're all going through something. Just know that it's temporary, and things do change, and you will get through it. You will get through it, because it's only temporary. And in, like, years down the road, you might not even remember that, whatever, ha you know, traumatic thing has happened to you. There's plenty of things that happened to me in my childhood that I don't remember and I really don't care, you know? So anyway, thank you guys for joining me while I paint my toesies. One last reveal. And I hope you like this video and comment below whatever you want to comment. By the way, you guys like my Illuminati. I can't say it. Illuminati. Illuminati necklace. That's what I call it. Although, like the triangles. Why won't they stay down? Because they want to be an Illuminati. <laughs> I can't say it. Illuminati. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys for spending this time with me. Peace. Have a good day.